first first real race back, and I don't think I've got an hour of power in my legs or training wise uh, in my legs yet. So I I kind of faded halfway through, and uh, Jamie Driscoll and uh, Ben from Belgium both caught me, and I pretty much just finished right behind them in in fifth. So hopefully better luck today, but if not, I mean another fifth place would be would be cool. So. Um, I mean, wouldn't complain about that, of course. Especially this early in the season, with more time to practice in the mud, that's probably would do me better. But right now, since I've had, I mean, a week of riding on my cross bike, I think the drier and the faster the race, the better, you know. Um, I like it here, but uh, racing—that's a different story. It's, uh, the altitude is really difficult for me. I live on sea level, and I never go out higher than 1,000 meters and this is 1,700 meters so it's really bad for me. Perfect, eh? it's, uh, my D drive for me is always the same. Um, I'm used to having a lot of conditions so I'm not complaining.
totally. Uh, it was mud, it was sand, ups and downs, a little bit technical part, and uh, yeah. finally some real slap across, I think. Um, well, this morning, I feel really, really bad. I had a headache this morning from the altitude and everything. But yeah, with the technical part and the mud, I did that for 20 years, so maybe yeah. that's a little bit of my advantage, I think. <laughs> yeah, you went on the hill after the finish line. That's a really difficult part. Uh, and I followed him and uh, I waited all that sand pin and that mud. I knew that I was better than uh, Kabush and uh, yeah, I went there full and uh, yeah. the 20 meters, 30 meters was enough. Yeah, it's the b biggest win in five years, I think. So uh, it can. Yeah, I'm, uh, I was here for some victories and uh, now finally I have one. I'm just not really uh, used to the cross racing thing yet after a, bun a big road season of 100 plus miles a day. To come and do an, an hour type time trial really is a, a big change of scene, so it's a lot different. <laughs> Up top was good because it was nice and smooth and fast, and down here there's just a nasty mud section that uh, it either zap your legs or you could plow straight through, but you never knew how to how to get through it. It was all just a matter of luck. Right. You're gonna go fast or not, so better luck next time, I guess.